Hey everybody, just want to show you something real quick here. This is my Boston Celtics ticket from the other night, uh, from Friday night. As you can see, clearly a Celtics ticket. Uh, the game's already happened, so don't try to take this barcode and steal it or whatever. Um, but as you can see, uh, November 9th, Boston Celtics at the Garden. Now I'm going to turn this over for you. And as you can see right here, this ticket represents a revocable license. The New York Yankees reserve the right, with or without refunding the face price of this ticket and ethical fees to blah 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 blah. They, the idiots at Ticketmaster are printing up tickets to like non-Yankee Stadium events and putting like the Yankee back to it. So here's like this thing about like Pennsylvania laws and stuff and like all the surrounding states of New York. And here's a whole thing about, you know, getting another ticket, Major League Baseball, uh, Yankee, Yankee this, Yankee that, Yankee bullcrap all over the Celtics ticket. So, uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. I'm zooming in as much as I can. But, uh. Yeah, terrible job by them. And you know what this means is that you can just take this ticket and do whatever you want with it. And if they try to, you know, get you in trouble, you just turn over the back and say, uh, well, I don't think the Yankees would have a problem with what I did with this Celtics ticket. Because apparently they're the ones in charge of this ticket. So, terrible job. And uh, just goes to show you the whole, like, Yankee world we all are forced to live in. Just like recently when uh, there was a Red Sox contest on MLB.com and it was like uh, the, the winner will meet at Yankee Stadium prior to the game. Like they just use the old Yankee default. It's like everything's just the Yankee default. Terrible job. They should try to default to a winning team. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.